going on guys and welcome back to the channel so I know it's been a long time since I've last posted a video and the last video I did post I was all the way in Los Angeles and I was picking up a front splitter from Mike at uh, MFR engineering and that's sort of been the last big thing that's happened now um, I want to start off by saying that I really don't like making videos like this where it's just a bunch of lip service and I'm just talking but I haven't made a video in a while and I just need to explain why and the reason is a uh, coronavirus right easy mistress to blame and that's because it really has affected every industry I have been ordering parts for the Challenger the Ram Daytona and the Infiniti Q50 and some of these parts I have an estimated ship date of like August 27th and I ordered them like a month ago so everybody's getting affected good news is that I do have a couple of parts that I've been collecting they started arriving like for example here I've got uh, some new upper control arms for the uh, Ram Daytona. I got wheel bearings for the Ram Daytona, brand new ones. That's just one and one. Um, I got the drop kit for that coming soon as well. So um, that's just some of that. I got a couple more parts from MFR Engineering. I don't really want to give too much away. That's not what this video is for. Um, but just letting you guys know that I am. I've been getting stuff and getting ready. And now with uh, We Are Mopar getting canceled uh, next month, I've decided to sort of. Um, pull back on the Challenger, uh, park it, take it apart and fix some things that I did shortcut earlier this year and make the car overall just better. So we're going to keep moving forward with that, moving with the Dodger M Daytona and of course the Infiniti Q50. So I did say I was going to do a Q&A on Instagram and you guys sent me some pretty funny questions. So I'm going to go over those right now. Alrighty. So I got my other iPhone here. And um, so the first question is from Lolac V. Some of you guys might know him as Ty is why don't you street race now i get asked this question quite a lot and it's kind of funny that this is the first question putting me on the spot and um to say i never did would be a you know bold face lie when i was younger yes i used to go out there and street race as i got older and the more that i was out there i would see some things never go as planned i would see people get into accidents uh people get into trouble with the law and i just sort of at a younger age realized that it just wasn't for me um there's a lot of variables when you're street racing that you can't control and let me step back by saying that racing in general there's always tons of variables that you can't control and accidents happen in a quote-unquote controlled environment such as racetracks or drag strips so then to take racing to a completely uncontrolled environment also the street highways or just you know your regular city streets where you don't know what you know um, other pedestrians are going to do what other drivers are going to do it's just completely unsafe and i don't think it's a uh, I don't think it's a good idea to risk not only your life but somebody else's life over something as stupid as a race so that's why i don't street race um i don't pass judgment on anybody who does i just don't think it's safe and uh that's that don't want to beat a dead horse uh the next question is from bdog.gibson and now these are all instagram handles and it wasn't a question it was just a statement he said race me so <laughs> ironically after the why don't you street race i got somebody asking me to race them so um gibson like you want to race man you know i'm always down I'm just gotta take it to a track so next question is from that under that underscore 302 cougar sorry if i butcher these so uh, i talked to this guy quite a lot some of you guys might even know him a real humble guy he's got a mercury cougar uh, his question is is there anything else you want to do to the chally or is it basically ready for the track so there's always something I want to do to the car. Um, right now, for the most part, as the car sits, the only thing it really needs is to get that uh, transmission issue uh, looked at. I don't know if I got that figured out yet or not. As a matter of fact, I actually did get the car retuned by Johan uh, Diablo Tuna. You might you can find them on Instagram and Facebook. You know, at Diablo Tuna. So with the retune, the car does feel a lot better. Other than that, uh, maybe an alignment, uh, a little more aggressive alignment, some more camber in the front stuff like that um but there's always more stuff that i want to do i mean more power more suspension um right now on the top of my list to give you a straight answer would be some a and d uh, upper control arms that would be probably the one thing i would really want before i get back out on track all right so the next question is from brandon.forster so if all your cars got totaled because of reasons what new car would you go buy off the showroom so guy's funny I like you Brandon thank you so what 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 would I what brand new car would I buy off the showroom now I've had my eye on you see the Cobra back there Shelby GT 350 350 R 
I've always liked Shelby cars and I really like the way the new uh, Shelby's handle uh, just from what I've seen on YouTube reviews I've never actually driven one but I think they would be a really good car for what I like doing with cars so Brandon to answer your question something a little more uh, track oriented or track inspired I'd go with the Shelby GT 350R next question is from Jesse underscore register now I'm gonna give this guy a shout out because we actually served in the army together and we uh, were in Korea together so he asked me drag racing or autocross and why so I like both I like all forms of racing and I actually started racing and drag racing uh, at Little River Dragway in Belton, Texas with my Charger SRT8. And when I bought the Challenger, I originally, wanted, I originally wanted to make it a fast drag car. And shortly after Hellcats came out and Demons came out and I was like, man, I could just go buy one of those and be fast right out the box rather than try to make my 09 SRT fast. And I found the Optima Ultima Street Car Series and I saw some of the classic Bosa cars and the way they handled and I fell in love with that. And I was like, man, if they can do that to those old cars, I can definitely do that to my Challenger. And that's sort of where I took the whole turn into autocross. I think autocross takes, um, it takes a lot of skill. I'm still working on my skill set. So I think it makes it more fun because once you sort of dial your car in drag racing, you, you kind of almost, almost always know what to expect with autocross when they change up the course. Um, it can be, it's just exciting because you're not doing the same thing. So for me right now, autocrossing. Back in the day, drag racing. All right, next question is from my boy Junior at 1LE underscore JT. He said, when can I get a ride? Brother, anytime. You already know the answer to that. All right. So next question is Apollo underscore SXT. What got you into challengers? All right. So this one's digging back a little deep again. Um, so I grew up in, in Florida for you guys that know me. And I would see orange challengers everywhere. And orange is actually my favorite color. So, um, the funny story is I went to a dealership in 2011. It was 2011 after basic training to go look at a Pontiac GTO. Um, at the time, Challenger, especially the SRT8, was way out of my price range. And when we went to this dealership, the GTO was gone, but it was a Dodge dealership and they had a Hemi Orange SRT8 in the showroom floor. And I was just like, man, that's just the car. It's got the classic American muscle look, but none of the classic American muscle problems. And, you know, for what it, at the time, uh, the SRT8, the 6.1 Hemi, it was one of the most powerful muscle cars out there. Um, so really it was just the styling, the look, and just the retro look that really got me into Challengers. And that's actually, I thought I had one more question. All right, guys, sorry about that. I actually had one more question. I knew it was there, I just didn't save it. And it's actually from K underscore Reed the King. And he's asking me, what are your future plans with the Challenger and Ram? Love the content. Thanks for the support, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, future plans with the Challenger is continue to dial it in. Uh, more aero from MFR Engineering. Uh, some more grip from BF Goodrich Tires. And the most important thing is seat time. Coronavirus, I've actually only done one event all year um, as they continue to cancel events. And there's plenty of events that go on, but a lot of the things that I have to juggle include school, work, and I'm still in the Army Reserve. So a lot of those weekends are usually taken up. And then with them canceling events back and forth, it's just, it has been extremely difficult to get some seat time. Uh, with the Ram, I'm actually keeping it fairly simple. Uh, right now, I just want to lower it, make it look good, some wheels and tires, uh, little stuff like little nuances like tail lights, redo the tint, and uh, maybe a little paint correction. Other than that, um, now I'm gonna save that for later because I got something cool for that, for the Ram. Um, but yeah, just know the Ram is gonna get more power because you know I like things to go a little faster. Um, but for the most part right now, keep it simple. I just kinda wanna cruise around in it, mob around some cars and coffee uh, events and stuff like that. So guys, that wraps up today's video. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been getting parts, I have been planning things. It's just my hands have been tied in certain areas, you know, waiting for parts. But now that stuff's showing up, content should start rolling uh, sooner than later. So I want to thank every single one of you for your support. It means the world to me. You guys don't even understand. Like I look at the followers and and the, uh, excuse me, the subscribers on YouTube, and they keep climbing. And I'm like, man, I haven't even posted a video. So that tells me that you know we're headed in the right direction. I don't like doing a lot of these videos because I actually like giving you guys content with plenty of value. So if I'm not giving you guys value, it's the other thing and it's sort of uh, documenting my journey with the Challenger and converting it into the ultimate uh, streetcar or the ultimate version that it could be. 
So with that being said guys, appreciate everything. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, hit that like button. If you love these videos, hit the subscribe button. If you got any other questions or any other comments, leave them in the comment below. Until next time guys, peace out.